and welcome to Hardware Husky. Today we'll be looking at the Asus ROG Strix X570F gaming motherboard. As always, Asus do a cracking job at making the artwork on the box look lovely. And let's look at the back of the box. Special features on the motherboard are dual M.2 heat sinks, BIOS flashback button, and ROG patented pre-mounted IO shield. We got addressable header Gen 2 for the RGB and we have PCIe 4.0 and safe slot. I'm guessing that's the PCIe armor. Okay, nothing on the side really. Nope. Nope, and that's it. Let's get it open, have a look inside. Here we have the motherboard in its nice shiny anti static bag. Put that to one side for now and let's see what accessories have we got. Okay, we have some paperwork. Let's get this all out and then have a look through it. Oh, stuck. Come on, come on. There we go. We have like a quick user manual guide. I'm not sure what that is. Just a ROG thank you card. Yep, that's all that is. A door hanger, do not enter. Exciting stuff. What do we have here? We actually have the manual here with the install CD. Hmm. Ooh, we have a load of stickers. We have a warranty information card. And we have a cable mods 20% off voucher some more stickers let's have a look at this side and see what we got here we've got quite a few little bits we have it looks like an RGB extension cable clear that all up for a second. we have some um, tweezers cable ties with some SATA cables We have another looks like an extension cable, M.2 screws and standoffs. We have a looks like a thermistor, and that's it. Here's all the accessories laid out on the table for you to look at. Now let's get the motherboard out and see what she's like. Oh, it's stuck in the bag. Gentle. Gentle. There we go. As you see, it's very nice. I love the grey colour of the heat sinks of the, for the VRM and the M.2s. The fan cover on the X570 chipset is nice. Ooh. I'm liking the black capacitors. They really add a nice touch compared to the silver ones. The rear IO shield is installed. The back of the motherboard is pretty plain, but it's got a nice black PCB. We have some armor around the CPU power, and we have the nice heatsink joined with a heat pipe. Yeah, it's a pretty nice motherboard. Let's get on to the specs. Okay, for rear IO, we have one display port, one HDMI port, one USB flashback button, four USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, three USB 3.2 Gen 2 port Type A's, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type C port, one Intel Gigabit LAN port RJ45, one optical audio output, and five gold-plated audio jacks. Here we have the AM4 CPU socket with the VRM and the VRM heatsink cooling solution. Here we have four DDR4 DIMM slots so compatible with up to 128 gigs and the USB Type-C front panel header. Here we have eight SATA ports and I believe these are all usable and not shared as this board only has two M.2 slots. On to the bottom half of the modern world we have the front panel header. We have two RGB headers, three fan headers, 
one USB 3 header, two USB 2 headers, a front panel audio header, we have the Supreme FX audio chipset, two M.2 PCIe Gen 4 M.2 slots, and we have three PCIe 4.0 16 times slots and two PCIe 4.0 times one slots. This slot configuration is assuming you have a Ryzen 3000 series CPU. Ryzen 2000 series have a slightly different configuration. You may want to check Asus website for details. Overall, I really like the look of this board. It's well built. The only downside to this board is accessing the M.2 drives. You have to remove a cover that over chipset fan otherwise this board was nice and easy to work with and that's it for this one uh, thank you for watching hardware husky and i hope i see you again please like subscribe and comment below